So we're number one in the country. We're going to make it to the SEC championship game where I bet we're playing like Florida or someone. Florida, maybe South Carolina, Georgia. Okay. Nine and three, number 15, Georgia. We have some upgrades here for our coordinators. So we're going to finish out this season. We're going to play the SEC championship game here. And then if we win, we'll move on to the national championship. Joe Adams outside. There he is. 16 yards for him there. First down, baby. Flip it over to the other side here. Give it to our man, Ronnie Wingo. Up the field, 12-yard carry for him there. We got Joe Adams on the outside, and he's going to get laid out. But he picks up five. It's going to be third and one now. Not quite. Oh, Ronnie Wingo keeps his feet moving. Somehow stays on his feet and is able to fall into the end zone for the touchdown. We're up. Got right over the middle. Not quite enough for the first down. So we're going to have to punt it away here to Georgia. Give it to Williams. He's going to pick up the first down and more there. Six yards for him on the catch and run. Second down. Second and five now. Ronnie Wingo back in. Gets another carry. Tries to bake it outside. Doesn't quite get the first. It's third and inches now. If you haven't noticed, that this is a very run-heavy team. Van Stumon gets the first. Boise State is up 14-0 in their championship game, as you see on the bottom line there. Whooping up on Colin Kaepernick in Nevada there. As Jarius Wright picks up eight. Ooh, DJ Williams in the middle. Touchdown, baby. Right, we're going to go straight to the air here. DJ Williams Fires quickly to the tight end. down to the go six yard line. Tackle. Let's go here. We'll settle for the field goal. Make he it a three score game. On three are go Plenty of time. Two timeouts still. Kind of Plenty of time to get more points here before halftime. As DJ Williams is left He's wide open over the middle. Huge He's game for DJ Williams here in this first half. He's got 35 yards on that play as Arkansas will hurry up to the line here. Throwing it deep, Childs intercepted, it's underthrown. And Wingo misses on the tackle. It's back pat near midfield. A huge interception by that Georgia defense to give them life here before halftime. All right, so now, we got Jarius Wright. We got 47 seconds. We got to get some sort of points. I don't care if it's just a field goal, but I would like points here before half. Time. We're going to go stick formation here. Just try to get yards, maybe get out of bounds. We got Hamilton. That'll get seven and get out of bounds here for us. Drop back again. Oh, and we're going to get sacked. We're going to have to call timeout. We want points before halftime. Joe Adams deep makes the grab. 38 yards. Joe Adams on the deep route. We're going to hurry, hurry up to the line here. Hurry, hurry. Robert, hurry. Hurry, hurry up to the line here. First and 10 now. Inside the red zone. Ryan Mallett back to pass again. We got Greg. We'll call our final timeout there. 31 seconds left here in the first half. Ooh. DJ Williams back to the end zone. Another touchdown for him here in the first half. Ryan Mallett with his second touchdown pass here in the first half and over 200 yards now passing here. Got to throw it deep to DJ Williams. A beautiful touch pass from Ryan Mallett there. Seven catches, 114 yards, and two touchdowns today for DJ Williams. The run game hasn't been great today, but Ryan Mallett has been phenomenal in this SEC championship game. 
as Ronnie Wingo makes up finally a great run, nine yards for him on that carry. He's got 16 carries for a nice 69 yards, 4.3 yards per carry. Flip it because they're blitzing from that side. Wingo gets outside, gets the first down and more. Three yards on that carry for him. Mallet play action. DJ Williams left wide open. Three touchdowns in this game for DJ Williams. Ties a school record. Joe Adams used that 93 speed. Gets past midfield down to about the 45-yard line. Um, I have some of the old Madden games like Madden 07. I think that would be fun to start a franchise like with like the Falcons from back then and play with like Mike Vick on the PS2. That might be fun. I have NFL 2K5 on the old Xbox. Ryan Mallet. Just take off with it. He's going to pick up the first down. Ryan Mallet with the long legs. I use that same computer to do my streaming, so I have my computer running Streamlabs right now as Nile Davis is going to break this one. 20 yards, Nile Davis for the touchdown. And we go up 38 to 13 after this extra point. Now let's drop him back. Now throw it to Childs here. Ooh, gets laid out. Drop back. We got Jarius Wright. 20 yards there for him. We should probably run the ball now and just like burn clock. Give it here. Nile Davis. This time he's for sure in for the touchdown. So we ran about an extra 20 to 30 seconds off the clock there. So with this knee down by Ryan Mallett, Arkansas officially will win their first ever SEC championship here in 2010. Ryan Mallett, Niall Davis, Ronnie Wingo, Joe Adams, Jarius Wright, all of them. So great. According to the ticker, Boise might lose. Ooh, I did not see the end there. Play of the game was this huge Niall Davis touchdown run, 20-yard run that officially shut down any chance Georgia had of getting back into this game. So we might be seeing Boise State as DJ Williams got player of the game, eight catches, 131 yards, and three touchdowns. There it is, the SEC Championship Trophy. Looking at the stats in the game, Ryan Mallett, another great game. 23 for 29, 337 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Rushing on the day, Ronnie Ringo had a good day. 20 carries for 81 yards and a touchdown. Nile Davis, six carries for 25 yards and two touchdowns on the day. Receiving-wise, DJ Williams, a huge game. Player of the game for the man. Eight catches, 131 yards, three touchdowns. Joe Adams had four catches for 90 yards. Jarius Wright, four catches for 59 yards. And Greg Childs had three catches for 29 yards. Defensively on the day, Jermaine Love led us with 10 tackles on the day. And then Tenarius Wright led us with two tackles for loss. And then Zach Strather and Tenarius Wright each had a sack. One interception, that was from Jermaine Love. Jerry Franklin had one forced fumble, and he recovered that fumble. So we have some upgrades here. It looks like the running back from Air Force ends up winning a cl fairly close Heisman race. He had over 2,100 rushing yards with 24 touchdowns on 377 carries. Jake Beckett won the Lombardi Award for us. And that looks like that's our only big time award this season. We're going to look up this matchup here going into this national championship game. Lee Corso is picking the number two Boise State team to upset us in the championship. They do have the higher ranked offense and defense than us, but we are better on turnover differential and rush defense. So. Maybe we'll pull off the win. We are looking for our second ever national championship to go along with the 1964 national championship that Arkansas won when Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson were here at the University of Arkansas playing for us. And Boise State is looking for their first ever national championship after winning their 10th Mountain West Conference championship this season and winning 13 straight to begin the year. Taking a look back at how we got to this point, we started off the season with a win against Colin Kaepernick and Nevada, 48-21, then blew out Arkansas State, 42-14. Beat up on the RG3 list Baylor Bears, 31 to 17. RG3 was out with an injury that game, so we got to play against their backup. Went down to Jerry World in AT&T Stadium and beat up on Texas A&M, 45 to 14. Went into the swamp and knocked off Florida, 35 to 17. Blew out South Carolina, 31 to 17. Went into Tuscaloosa and knocked off the then number one team in the country, Alabama. 
which proved to be their only loss of the season. We won that game 28 to 14, knocked off Cam Newton and the Auburn Tigers 42 to 21. Won a close one at Ole Miss, 38-31. Came home and beat up on Mississippi State, 38-12. Knocked off our most hated rival, LSU, 35-14 in the battle for the Golden Boot. Knocked off Georgia, 45-20 in the SEC Championship game. And are now ready to take on number 2, 13-0, Boise State. Looking at our stats on the season, Ryan Mallett has over 2,800 yards passing, 28 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. Ronnie Ringo leads us in rushing with 820 yards and 9 touchdowns. And Jarius Wright leads us in receiving with 42 catches, 719 yards, and 5 touchdowns. Love leads us in tackles with 49, Nelson in interceptions with 3, and Jake Beckett leads the team with 7 sacks. Looking at Boise State stats, the Heisman finalist Kellen Moore led them with 3,500 passing yards, 43 touchdowns, and 2 interceptions. Avery led them with 834 yards and 9 touchdowns. And Young had a wonderful year catching the ball, 88 catches, over 1,400 yards, and 22 receiving touchdowns. That's crazy. Averaged over 111 receiving yards a game this year. Wynn led the defense in tackles with 26, Thompson in interceptions with 2, and Acre with 6 sacks led their defense this season. As we said, Lee Corso has picked number 2 Boise State to beat us in this national championship game, but we will see how we match up against them here. As you can see, they do have a higher ranked defense than us, 95-88. to 88. We both have 99 overall offenses. So it should be a very fun game, high scoring, hopefully. We will see. Oh, throwing it, and we got DJ Williams, the best tight end in the country. 16 yards for the first down, let's go. This is where it, it, it's fun for me, you know. It's just difficult enough that it's fun for me. And that's what's important, having fun with this game, having fun on the stream with you guys. And we're just going to take off with Mallet on this one. And we're going to pick up the first down and more. Ryan Mallet, not known for his legs, but able to use them when he needs to. Those long, long legs for the very tall quarterback. We'll hand it off here to Ronnie Wingo again. And he's going to lower the shoulder, and he's going to get all the way down to second and one now on a nine-yard carry there. Taking a shot to the end zone. Jarius Wright, and it's... Perfectly thrown, 33 yards, Jarius Wright with the catch. And actually, I want to take a shot here on this first play. Taking a shot, Joe Adams. Oh, and it's almost, we almost gave it right back to him there. We're going to drop it down there to Williams. And he's going to pick up the first down inside the red zone to about the 14. I'm going to run the curls here. Gonna take off with Mallet, and he's going to get in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. We go up by two scores here. So now we will go dump it down here to Jarius Wright, our leading receiver on the year. He'll pick up seven on that short pass there. Got four wise spread out here. Wingo in the backfield with Ryan Mallet looking for someone to get open here. And Greg Childs, and he's going to be stopped short here. Fourth and two coming up. We will be forced to punt it away here on a 2010 historic dynasty with the Arkansas Razorbacks. And that, was that a perfect punt? Is that a perfect punt? Was that a touchback? Get down at the one, that's what I'm talking about. So we are in the final game of season one and we'll do the off season as soon as this is over. Ooh, Wingo cuts back, that's a good cut, five yards. First football game I ever remember watching was Super Bowl 41 when Peyton Manning won his uh, one with the Colts. As we throw that to Greg Childs, and he's behind the defense. Will they catch him? Breaks the tackle to the 15, 10, 5. Oh, and he's tackled down at the one-yard line. 62 yards for Greg Childs on the slant. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. Yeah, I, I am a student here at the University of Arkansas, so I'm an Arkansas Razorback fan. I'm a huge Razorback fan. I'm a Rams fan, L.A. or St. Louis. Okay, yeah. What did you think of them as we fumble it with Ryan Mallett? And they're going to take it back. Oh, my gosh. A defensive touchdown for Boise State. And they're right back in this thing. It's now a field goal game. We were up huge early in the first quarter, but some costly mistakes here by us has let Boise State back in the game here right before halftime. There is only one minute left before the half. We will get the ball after halftime. Um... 
and uh, so hopefully we can get points and try to grow that lead back out. Need to stop making careless mistakes here. Need to quit running with Ryan Mallett. He's not a running quarterback. We need to quit trying to play like that. As we're going to fit this one to Greg Childs down the right side. And he's going to get past the 40 down to about the 39. A first down for the Razorbacks as we keep the ball moving. That like sort of metallic green color. Oh, I thought it looked so good. Especially like when you were like playing in the rain and something like that. We dump it off to the fullback there. Stumon, he's going to pick up the first down for us on a third and four. He's going to get down near the 40-yard line here. As we are up 10 after halftime. First drive after the halftime break. Oh, there we go. Greg Childs again. Our big outside receiver, Greg Childs. Another big play for us down the right side there. Rolling out. Trying to find something we're just going to take off, and we're going to slide down with Mallet, avoiding another fumble. There we go. Hamilton, Kobe Hamilton with the beef. Absorbs the big hit, gets the first down for us. We're continuing to march the ball down the field. Play Tyler Wilson. Hey, Tyler Wilson will definitely see playing time throughout this historic dynasty as Niall Davis takes seven yards there. I'd watch this on my TV. Hey, I would too, man. That's where I usually watch Twitch. I have a one of those Fire Stick TVs, and I'll put them up on my TV as we throw another interception there to Gavins. That's our second turnover of the day. Second interception for Ryan Mallett. Jarrell Gavin steps in front there to make that interception. Pitch play here to Ronnie Wingo. Gets outside. He's got room to run. Down the sideline, Ronnie Wingo, 20 yards there on that one. First and ten for the Hogs. Mallet give it to Nile Davis. He's got room to work. It's definitely time to keep the ball on the ground as much as possible. Alright, we'll bring the fullback Stumon in motion here. Nile Davis again into the game. Busts it outside. He's got room to work. Oh! Nile Davis all the way! They won't catch him! 49 yards. Nile Davis takes it all the way for the touchdown. Oh, man, I remember when Nile Davis played here, man. He, he was so good. Arkansas has had so many great running backs over the years, man. And we will knee it down, and that will do it. In our first season of this historic dynasty, we end up winning the national championship and going undefeated in the SEC with Ryan Mallett, Nile Davis, Ronnie Wingo, and the rest of the team. The play of the game, that huge run by Nile Davis that sealed the deal for us. It would turn out to be the winning points. Huge run by him there. Kellen Moore, the senior quarterback, can't help but feel like his greatest opportunity slipped away. Ryan Mallett gets player of the game, threw for 275 yards, ran for 28 yards, had three touchdowns on the year. Looking at the stats on the game, Ryan Mallett went 18 for 25, 275 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Rushing on the day, Ronnie Ringo had 15 carries for 85 yards and no touchdowns. Now Davis, 14 carries, 103 yards, and two touchdowns, including that 49-yard monster run for him. And then Ryan Mallett, seven carries, 28 yards, a touchdown, but also had that fumble that ended up being returned back for a touchdown in the game. Greg Childs led us in receiving on the day, five catches, 117 yards. Ronnie Ringo had four catches for 35 yards out of the backfield. Jarius Wright, three catches for 46 yards and two touchdowns on the day. And DJ Williams, the tight end, two catches for 27 yards. Defensively, Zach Stather. Led us with tackles with nine, and also led us with three tackles for loss and three sacks on the game. Huge game for him here. And then Anthony Leon had an interception for us. And then also had a forced fumble and fumble recovery from Rudel Krim and also Isaac Madison. So we forced quite a few turnovers in this game, and that really helped us out a lot. And now there it is, the college football playoff national championship winners.